Hello. This video is going to be going over the various aspects of playback from the MVR interface. So to start, go ahead and right click on the mouse and then choose playback. Now here at the top where it says normal play, you have various options. These are sort of like filters to help you sort out the various things that you want to search for such as if you wanted to uh, look for motion events you would choose event play and then choose the various options down here uh, to help search for those events for right now we'll do normal play because that will find everything now over here you have all the cameras that you can possibly choose from now just as a uh, warning, you probably don't want to go choosing all of them. If you hit the max button, it usually keeps it at four. Because if you try to play back too many files at a time, it, the NVR will not have enough resources to show the mainstream footage for all of those cameras. And so, minimum, we'll select one. Uh, you can also deselect them manually and choose the one you wish. Now notice after you click the box, it lights up blue down here on the bottom. That indicates that that channel, camera one for instance, has uh, recordings on these various days. And as you can see from the interface in the front, I only have the one camera hooked up, so that is why we only have one there. So for now, I'm going to choose camera one. And then down here, if you select the various days, you'll see the times that my camera was set to record. I don't have it on all the time. Otherwise, you would see a bar going all the way across from the very beginning to the very end. These are the times that the camera had power. And if you notice, there's splashes of red on the timeline. If you take a look down here, there's a color indicator showing what those colors represent. So normal is the constant recording uh, for schedules or uh, just set for 24 seven. Event is for motion. And smart is for the various smart features some of the cameras can be set to, such as line crossing and other things like that. Now down here, you can set the time for when you want to search. And so what that will do is limit the amount of video that will show up here on the bottom. We'll just leave it as alone for now, but once you hit search, it will begin playing the video. And it will begin from the very first time for that position. Now down here, you have various options that you can use to help you back up certain footage. So if I wanted to back up something from this particular point, I can hit the cut option. And it's going to record or cut a part of the recording until I click it again. If I take a snapshot, it will simply take a picture of the current position. So if you want to get something specific, it might be good to pause it and then hit snap. Otherwise, you can still do so while playing. Lock record will lock the file that this particular part of the playback is associated with. And I'll show you that in a moment, but we'll just click that really quick. And same thing with label. What this will do is we'll label that particular file that's stored on the hard drive so that you can identify it later. So I'm going to click that as well. Now, if you go to file management, here this is showing the clipped file I did a second ago, and it's showing the timestamp. And as you can see, it was only a few seconds. If you wanted to do a backup on that, you would need a flash drive or external hard drive connected to your NVR. And you can simply click the box and choose backup. 
lock files, the same thing. This was the file that I locked and you can see the timestamp. This is significantly longer. And basically what this is, is a file stored on the hard drive itself. And uh, that's the total size of that file. So all the data on the hard drives are broken up into smaller files. It's not just one long continuous video. And then label, you can see the same thing here. This was the tag I made. So if I wanted to clear it, I could hit the X here for the lock file, select it and clear and the clip file. I can clear that as well. And that's an easy way to back up very specific footage that you need off the NVR. That way you don't have to go to the backup section and download the entire video clip. You could just get the little pieces that you need. Now over here, uh, sync is if you have uh, multiple cameras playing. So as you could see earlier, we could play up to four. And what that would do is show you a two by two grid with the videos playing. And if you un if you have it on sync, it's going to play them all at the exact same time. If you have that clicked to asynchronous, then you can play each video at their own time. So if you were to click ahead on one, it would not jump the other camera videos forward. Mainstream, uh, all the videos record in mainstream by default. If you go into your record settings, you can set them to uh, record substream as well. So if I turn this off and had substream selected, it would show the video for substream. But since I do not, there is nothing there. And of course you have the typical pause, start, here you have backwards play. So if I jump to, let's say 11 o'clock, hit backwards play, you'll see that the, the time is now going backwards. And then you can hit stop and that will stop the entire playback. Now over here you have slow down. So when I click slow down, you'll see it's now at half speed, one third, one fourth, and that's as slow as it goes. And if I speed up, I can go all the way up to 32 times speed. Uh, and that is still affected by system resources. So if it is a very large file, uh, such as an eight megapixel camera with a really high bit rate, it may not perform well at that speed. Now over here, you can click backwards 30 seconds or forwards 30 seconds. And so you can see that it will jump back to three minutes once I get to three minutes and 30 seconds. And there it is. Now, if you need to have a little more control over clicking on the, the timeline here, what you can do instead of having to just kind of guess between like, let's say 11 and 12 here, I can click on 11 or get as close as I can. And over here, you have timeline stretch. And what that will do is it will zoom you in a lot more. So now you can see it broken up. I go minute by minute. And that's everything you need for playback.